Greetings! Today you're going to learn how to touch type faster than you could ever imagine. You know, many people type reasonably well when they hunt and peck, but did you know there's a ceiling on how fast you can go when you hunt and peck? Because your eyes, you lose nanoseconds when your eyes are trying to reposition your eyes and fingers back on the keyboard. So today we're going to get rid of that and launch you off into actual touch typing. Okay, if you acquire touch typing, you can fly across the keyboard. You will increase your productivity and you'll decrease your stress. This quick session will show you exactly how to do that. Touch typing is remarkably easy if you just have the right keys to unlock how. I'm going to show you today what those two keys are. Number one, you will learn the geography of the keyboard letters in pairs, always two at a time. And number two, you will learn powerful memory hooks for those letters. And once you learn these memory hooks, they become instant triggers for your mind and fingers. Now watch closely and join with me in this little demonstration. You can type right on your table as we go. You don't need a keyboard. You can type on your lap, on your thighs. Um, just picture three rows of squares. Okay, I'm going to show you now uh, a blank keyboard. And this is what it looks like when your hands are positioned on it. Do you see that this is the pointer finger, this is the tall man, this is your ring man, and this is your pinky. Your thumbs are not used at all in typing. The center keys right here are also typed with your pointer finger. It reaches across, but it must not go beyond this green line. Must not, this hand must not go over there, and this hand must not go over there. So when you type with your pointer finger, you're going to stay on each side of the green line. Okay, and we're going to learn now memory hooks for your first letters. Okay, if you'll place your hands on your thighs or on the table, we can begin. Now you're going to remember this from a cute little ditty. And this is Fast Jane runs under vivacious monkeys. Imagine that Jane is in a jungle and there are monkeys up in the trees and she runs, she zips through that jungle under those vivacious monkeys. So type it right now and say, use your words and your fingers so that it goes in through the auditory as well as your the picture side of your brain, which is the right side. Okay? Fast Jane runs under vivacious monkeys monkeys. Okay? So you're going to reach and retract with just your pointer fingers. When your fingers are at rest, they will all be on the center line. The center line in both sides. So you have your finger here. I'm doing it opposite for you. Your fingers will rest like this on the center line of each side. Okay? So that's your beginning one. Now let's see if you remember that if I show you a blank keyboard. Do you remember what those letters were and what the ditty was? Fast Jane runs under vivacious monkeys. Okay, your next one now is going to be in the center of the keyboard. And remember we talked about that you're going to use your pointers in the middle as well. And this, the way you can remember these letters is to think of a camping trip. And here you have a teepee and here you have an, exciting, an exclamation mark. So this is tense, yes. Girls hike, and because camping isn't full of luxuries, you have to be nice to each other. So let's do those once more. Tense, yes. Girls hike, be nice. Okay, you're still typing with your pointer fingers. Now let's test those two rows. Do you remember back to what the first ones were? Fast Jane runs under vivacious monkeys. Now we go to the center and we think of the camping trip. Tense, yes, girls hike, and be nice. Okay, now we're going to move to your tall man. And what you're going to remember with your tall man is the ditty. Uh, you're going to remember the image of Old MacDonald had a farm. Okay, so you're going to start with, um, on this farm, he had, you know, the song, E-I-E-I-O. Do you remember that? E-I-E-I-O. So those are your first two. E-I-E-I-O. And of course, there's no O. Then on this farm, he had a duck, so D, K. And on the farm, cows were common. Okay, so let's review those again. E, I, 
is what you're going to sing at McDonald's Farm. You're going to observe some ducks decay and that cows are common. And of course, that's just a comma. Okay, now let's go to our tester and see how we do. Let's go back to the first row. We had Fast Jane runs under vivacious monkeys. Then we thought of our camping in the middle. Tents, yes. Girls hike and um, be nice. Now we're in our tall man row and with your tallest fingers begin with a th the thought of McDonald's Farm and you're going to remember you sing the song E-I and then you're going to see ducks on this farm so D-K and then cows are common. Great! Now we're going to move to the ring man finger. And for the ring man finger, you're going to think of a treasure hunt. So imagine yourself racing through a, 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 a woods at, on a horse, and you had been told ahead of time on a map, a treasure map, that it, if you find treasure in that wilderness, it'll have a big X over it for X marks the spot. Okay, so we're going to remember that little ditty. And we put a treasure chest here so you remember, help to remember it. Okay, so if you saw that X through the trees, what would you do to your horse? You'd go, whoa! In other words, you bring your horse the bridle back. W-O, whoa. And then you would say to your horse, slow down. S-L, slow down. X marks the spot. And of course, X, the spot, is the period. Okay, so let's do those again. Whoa, slow, X marks the spot where the treasure is. Okay, let's see how well you remember all of these. Let's go back to the beginning, point your fingers. Do you remember fast? Jane runs under vivacious monkeys. Now for this section, we're thinking about a camping trip. Tense, yes. Girls, hike, be nice. Then for your tallest man, we're gonna think of old McDonald. And you sing E-I, E-I. And then you see a duck, D. K and cows are common. Cows, comma. Now for the ring man is our new little story about the treasure hunt and X marking the spot. So if you're ripping through that area on your horse, what are you going to say to your horse? Whoa, W-O. And then you're going to say slow, S-L. And then you're going to say X marks the spot. Okay, we're ready now for our last finger the pinky finger and the ditty we're going to use for this is something different. It only applies to the first two. So the first pair is going to be quiet people and then you're going to take just your pinky and type this way. So quiet people and now we're not doing the pairs anymore across the, the keyboard. We're going to do it down the side and up the other side. So quiet people like to type A through Z and they never question the use of a colon or an apostrophe. The apostrophe is the capital letter on the same key that was your comma. Okay, so let's do that again. Quiet people like to type A to Z, and they never question the use of a colon or an apostrophe. And your apostrophe would be typed with your ring man. Do you see it's in the ring man row? So you would be changing fingers here. So all you really need to know is quiet people type A to Z and never question the use of a colon. And then if you want to type this, you can. If you don't want to, you don't need to. Or an apostrophe. Okay, now let's see if you know the entire keyboard in less than 10 minutes. Let's see. Okay, back to our pointer row. We have Fast Jane runs under vivacious monkeys. Now what do we think of for the center? Can you remember? It's the camping story. Tense, yes. Girls hike and be nice. The next one is the tallest finger. Think of a tall farmer. Who's the most famous tall farmer? McDonald. Okay, so old McDonald had a farm. E-I. We sing the song, yeah. then we saw a duck, D-K, and then cows are common. Okay, let's move to our ring man, and the ditty for that, think, see if you can say it before I do, is a treasure hunt. 
So you're romping through the wilderness on your horse, and when X marks the spot, you're going to slow that horse. Whoa! Slow! And X marks the, the spot or the period. Okay? Our last row with Pinky is quiet people love to type letters A through Z, and they never question the use of a, of a question the use of a colon or an apostrophe. Do you realize you just learned the basics of touch typing in less than 10 minutes? Now, you have it solidly in your head. You can play it on in the air. You can do it on the refrigerator cover. You can do it on a book. You can do it anywhere. Try that several times today and you'll see you retain it. So you actually now know how to touch type. You could go and use the correct fingers and begin to type words. But we want to do this a lot faster than having to recall all those letters slowly through your cerebrum. We're going to move now to your cerebellum and you're going to drive this into your autonomic nervous system so that your muscle memory can just do it without thinking. And to do that, you will need to get this booklet. It's touch type in five days and it's called Zoom Type. And this little narrow thin booklet can be taken with you anywhere in the car or waiting for someone or on a plane or a train or a bus and you can learn it in spare minutes using it wisely. And what it does inside this little booklet is teach you how to type automatically with just pictures. It's loaded with hundreds of snapshot pictures so that every time you see a picture you're going to see two notes, two letters, excuse me, two letters that appear and then they're going to disappear. So they're going to show up on the page and then they're going to disappear and they'll be replaced with two black uh, squares. And then you have to recall, what did I just type? What letters just disappeared? And that creates a hungry brain. So go to our website. It's homeschoolhowtos.com. And you can look up Zoom Type and be on your way to a keyboard high-flying experience before you know it at least within one week. And some of you will do it far faster than that. So go to our website, homeschoolhowtos.com, and look up Zoom Type, and you can have it by nightfall.